Did you know, if you play stupid games, you will win stupid prizes? The hashtag free melee movement has gotten even dumber, and that is what we're going to be breaking down. So the Splatoon community, in support of the Smash community, has 30% of the top teams in the NA Open with names in support of Melee and Smash. So what does Nintendo of America do? They cancel the live stream for tomorrow's finals. And that's because we were getting nonsense like this. Hashtag free melee 211, hashtag free melee 227. People were registering to where they had to have a number after it. And also, people were straight up putting tweet URLs as their registration. Nintendo is under absolutely no obligation to condone that, especially when the whole, actually I didn't even notice the Melee Nation, I was kind of looking for the stupid ones, so yeah, we got Melee Nation, we got all this other stuff and it just keeps on going. No company is going to put up with this childish nonsense. I don't know why people are surprised that Nintendo doesn't want to make themselves look bad in a live stream, even if the hashtag free melee movement was valid. It isn't. It's people wanting video game piracy so they can have online tournaments for cash. Nah. Kinda of funny that they'll sever their own support they love to parade around as something so fantastic just because the Splatoon community wants to stand in solidarity with other scenes that Nintendo outright harms. I mean, you guys are harming yourselves by wanting to use unauthorized modded emulators to then run pirated games for your esports scene. Yeah, no company is going to allow that. And when it crosses over into other elements of that company, it's going to have the same response. And this is what I mean when I said, I warned you guys, don't piss off Daddy Nintendo because you're not going to win this one. The only way you can win is in court. And if we have 35,000 likes, good. Now you have the Melee community and the Splatoon community. That should be more than enough crowdfunding to actually fight this in court. And then if you win, that's going to be massive for all of gaming. That changes the entire industry. This goes beyond Melee. But if you lose, oh, it turns out Nintendo was in the right because video game piracy is bad. Who would have thought? And it keeps on going. This is damage control and an outright spit in the face of all their dedicated competitive scenes. But we ain't surprised. Nintendo hates you. F Nintendo. Free Melee. Still getting thousands of likes and hundreds of retweets. But this is two-day-old news. And you might have noticed yesterday on Twitter that Etika was trending alongside Nintendo. That's because yesterday's news is that the Eticons have been taken down by Nintendo, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, piss off Daddy Nintendo, and lose things you care about. You were in the wrong, so you lost a Melee tournament. The Big House doubled down, so they lost the Ultimate tournament. The Smash community doubled down again, so they lost a Splatoon livestream. Now, as far as I understand, there's a lot of misinformation being spread about the Splatoon event as well. It was just the live stream that wasn't shown, but the tournament still went on. I've seen a lot of people just say, like, they canceled the entire tournament. I haven't seen anything to support that. Either way, Splatoon community doubles down, and now you lose a piece of Etika. So after Etika passed away, a guy named Captain Alex created these custom Joy-Cons in order to raise money for a mental health charity. These wouldn't modify your console, they weren't some replica of Nintendo's work, they were a reshell of official Joy-Cons. Guess what happened? Nintendo unfortunately demanded that the custom Eticons must no longer be sold anymore, but they are still within their legal right to do this. It doesn't matter if it's for charity, it still gets in the way of Nintendo's business. Yes, they've taken down by Nintendo's request. Nintendo would rather eliminate the smallest, most minuscule of threats to their intellectual property than allow a guy to use their products to raise money for a charity in the honor of a man who sadly passed away. If only it was that simple. Nintendo is allowed to protect their IP, and Etika is very brand unfriendly to Nintendo, so they have extra incentive to take it down with that. And then the replies, Nintendo lately has been bad. I don't support them as a company anymore due to many things, including this. And you know what? Nintendo couldn't care less. And that's another thing about this. Like these people, like it's a small, like, okay, it's Splatoon 2. These people are choosing to fight in Splatoon 2. That's not going to make any ripple in the esports scene. 
competitive Splatoon could disappear completely overnight and the industry would go completely unchanged. And then we have some responses. Guys, the top four teams have decided to drop the Nintendo tournament and participate in an event run completely by members of the community. It would be amazing if you showed your support. Squid House, $1,000 prize pool. That's, that's the state of Splatoon competitive because it's not this massive scene or anything. So this is what they're upsetting Nintendo over. An online open tournament that Nintendo hosts that doesn't really get too much traction anyways, like, you know, a couple thousand live viewers and a, a niche community that is supported by Nintendo. They decide to piss off the tournament organizer and developer of the game to then break off and have a $1,000 small little tournament. Now, to be fair, it did end up at a 25,000 prize pool, which is very significant for any kind of esport, but that was from donations. So the base support of Splatoon wasn't really enough to get into, and then they raised $25,000 out of outrage in spite of Nintendo, but that's just going to get Nintendo's attention, and then all of that future stuff probably going to get shut down as well. What's weird to me is the anti-Nintendo community will raise money for a Flash tournament, but they won't raise money for legal action against Nintendo that would secure the safety of your games and scenes for a very long time. Again, you win that against Nintendo, and that means you have no issue whatsoever in hosting major tournaments for your games, and then there's also gonna be even less issue for getting people to come together for those tournaments as well, and there's even a chance that you open up modding and authorization in that kind of way. Nintendo is using an IP claim to shut down major tournaments and large crowdfunding like this. If you get rid of that, there is no limit to what any scene with these games can do. And this isn't going to make Nintendo happy either. Like I said, the next thing we're probably going to hear is the next Splatoon tournament that isn't authorized by Nintendo getting shut down. Maybe every, like we're going, this is sending us back in the Stone Age. We're, it's going to be like the old Evo days where it's like, hey, you're not allowed to host anything. Super Smash Bros. and only official Nintendo will allow it. And if there's even more naming protests, well then, yeah, c congratulations. You killed your scene over something petty, like not wanting to pirate video games to host a tournament. That is stupid. And now you're also losing custom merchandise and other community and fan projects. That's not good. And what makes it even worse is that these people think they're fighting for some kind of real cause. This is in the top 10 of the most cringe things I have ever seen in my life. The hashtag free melee does borrow from free Hong Kong, but I mean, you can kind of do that for something smaller that isn't as real, that isn't as important as Free Hong Kong, but then trying to stylize it in that way with the little slippy face mask because this was pre-COVID and that's what the face mask was for, is to obscure your identity so you can kind of protest against China and stuff, and then doing like, you know, some kind of outfit or some kind of statement, but trying to draw these parallels from Free Hong Kong into Free Melee, and then using like other scenes and other characters to represent it. Free Melee isn't even in the same galaxy as Free Hong Kong, yet Dorito dusted activists on Twitter start sweating as they type up their replies to fight back against Nintendo, but they don't put their money where their mouth is. You know, mine's streaming so we can see it. Oh, the teams are named after something you don't make money off of anymore? Imagine that. Who would do something? Who would do such a thing? Crazy, really. You mean nothing. Those 500 likes mean nothing. This means nothing to Nintendo. This doesn't even register to Nintendo. Nintendo does the tournaments to give back to the community, and then the community decides to strip that away from itself by doing stupid stuff. Nintendo loses nothing by not streaming this tournament, or just canceling all Splatoon 2 competitive, or, or maybe even all Smash competitive outright because of how ungrateful and bratty the community is. A few thousand people being upset at Nintendo aren't going to have any impact. Even when it comes to like the tens of thousands of engagements that we've seen, 90% of them are going to turn around and buy the next Nintendo game that they want. They still will support Nintendo, regardless of the front that they put up about it. You know, here's what the corporate aspect of Nintendo is going to look like from this. All right, so uh, number 32 on the docket for today's meeting, we have hashtag free melee. Uh, can, can someone fill me in on what this is about? Yeah, uh, the Smash community is upset that they can't host a tournament pirating game we no longer make. 
I see. Is this having any negative impact on our bottom line? Uh, no, sir. We're still going into the holiday season very strong, and Animal Crossing New Horizons is still outpacing all expectations. Okay, is there any kind of negative drawback from this whatsoever? Uh, it appears that Nintendo Switch Online memberships might be declining 2-3% to over the next quarter. And what does that mean for our total profit? It looks like we might be down about 0.05 to 0.6%. Well, that doesn't seem like much of a problem. I say that we shut it down. Four degrees? Four degrees, sir. Excellent decision. So yeah, this is stupid. It keeps on getting worse, and people are finding more and more ways of upsetting Nintendo. So this is from the NA Open server on Discord, because that, that's how Nintendo hosts these events, and it's just a childish copy-paste. So all it is is tantrums, and Nintendo doesn't care. I honestly can't wait to see what the next development is at this point, and what Nintendo decides to take away. It's getting really entertaining, because I have no respect for such entitled brats. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.